Hello, today Pearl and I are going to make a modification to my 19 year old John Deere L118 mower. It's a fairly simple process and popular enough that it even has a name. It's called poor men's power steering. Here's how it works. I have cleaned this area up for the video. So anyway, if you look right here between this snap ring and thrust bearing here at the top of the spindle, there is about an eighth inch gap. So if we take the weight off of the front end, the spindle drops down and then that gap appears down here at the bottom. And that's where these come into play. This is a thrust needle bearing and you can see it's very thin. So this along with two thrust washers is what we will put in that gap underneath the axle to alleviate the friction. The issue is on the underside of the axle where the axle and the spindle meet it's direct metal to metal contact and so it's a high friction point when you're turning but that gap will allow us to insert the thrust bearing. I got these at Amazon, a set of two, which is, of course is what you need to do this job for $5.99, so you can't beat that. I will put a link in the description to the specific ones that I ordered for this mower, which is a 100 series John Deere. I'm gonna go ahead and remove this snap ring while there's no pressure on it before I lift the front end. Now, Many lawnmowers have a dust cap covering this area right here, much like on the wheel. My lawnmowers never had those, but if you do, you can remove them by softening them with a heat gun or very carefully with a propane torch. Now, let's get the front end off the ground. So now we just need this spindle to drop down out of the axle. Well that was a little tight. Might have been good to grease these first. Okay, let me clean this area off a little bit. Before you put the bearing on, you want to pack it real good with grease. Okay, first a thrust washer, then the needle bearing, then the other thrust washer. Now we just have to reinsert the spindle into the axle and put the spring clip back on. Now, as smart as you are, I'm guessing that you've already figured out the process for the other side is exactly the same as what we just did. So I'm not gonna waste your time showing you the process again. Also, of course, we now need to grease this joint, but I'm guessing you already know how to do that as well. So let's take it for a ride and see if we can tell the difference. Well, after a real world test, I can say that I can definitely tell a difference. Is it a dramatic difference? I don't know that I can say that, but it certainly is a noticeable difference, and I think well worth the cost and time involved.
Hey, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you enjoy this type of content, I'd love to have your subscription. In any case, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in another video. No, come on. Hello. Today, Carl and I are going to...